guys how are you so today's vlogmas is gonna be kind of different I'm going to be filming a how to wrap a Christmas present video kind of thing I'm just gonna kind of walk you guys through how I like to wrap my Christmas presents um, some tips I like to share um, and yeah just kind of talking you guys through it um, but yeah I'm really excited to share this wrapping is my favorite part of Christmas of Christmas I love wrapping I love of offering people if I can wrap their presents just because it's kind of like a stress reliever with all the things like with Christmas like it comes with a lot of crazy things happening all at once you got family parties you got buying presents you got going to the mall where it's so busy uh, but when you're at home just kind of watching movies sitting down wrapping Christmas presents on hours and hours on end because um, the Christmas presents don't stop. It's so relaxing to me, honestly. But yeah, I'm just gonna be watching some TV, kind of walking you through how I like to uh, wrap my presents, and yeah, I'll see you guys by the tree. All right, so today I'm going to be wrapping this china box. Um, what's inside is a secret. Shh, it's a Christmas present. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm gonna be wrapping this box and then I'm using my roll of wrapping paper from Target. I bought this big roll for $5 from Target for, it was like 128 square feet, which is a good amount. It was like, like super thick. So I think it's gonna last me for the rest of Christmas, maybe even till next Christmas. So the first thing I do when I'm wrapping my presents, I'll roll out my paper. Um, you do want to make sure you measure the uh, the box that you're wrapping. You, if you're going to be wrapping, I like to make sure that both sides of the paper can go over the box evenly and then cut from there. So I can do this. Um, I also prefer to buy wrapping paper with lines on it. So. So right now my box is even, so if I do half on this side, I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines and do seven lines on this side so it's easier to measure and make sure that it's completely even. I'm going to cut it all the way through. Obviously this is a really long roll so I am going to have a lot of excess paper, um, but I'll show you guys what I do with it after. And you guys want to make sure that you got some extra sh sharp scissors just so that you can cut through your paper super easily um, and not make any problems for yourself. So now that we've got paper that goes over the box evenly, you also want to make sure that there's paper that will go on the sides of this box just to cover it. This is already a lot, so you can do this and then the lines help again here. So you do one, two, three, three and a half lines of paper so I'll go on this side and count three and a half. One, two, three, and a half, and two. So I got my extra paper. I'm just gonna leave it off to the side for now. Um, for any of the extra paper you can use it to create a design on the top of your box or you can use it to wrap another present. There is a cup in here so it is kind of bulky but I got my handy dandy scotch tape. And first we're going to start by doing the longer sides, so the sides that you wanted to make sure was completely even when you fold it over. Um, this side has the completely, like the, a perfect cut, so I am going to do the side that has more like ridges on the inside so it's not showing. have a wrapping paper that does have a design all through it like this one you can do your best to try to make sure that the designs line up similar to how I did it right here just so that it doesn't look too crazy if not if you're not a perfectionist about that then you can just keep wrapping it however you like and then I'll just take my clear tape and bring it over and you want to make sure it's tight so that all your lines are crisp so now that we've got that, we're going to do the sides. Um, what I like to do is create triangles on the bottom and then triangles on the top and fold them down. Uh, I always do the top um, goes down last. So triangles, triangles, right? 
right? And then my bottom will go up first. And I'll tape it. Bottom will go up first. I'll tape it. You're gonna wanna flip over your box. Try and close it down. You just want to kind of readjust your triangles, triangles again, go back over, pull it down, and tape. So the top flap will be covering the bottom flap. Yeah, and I'm just going to do it to the other side. Alrighty, so that is going to be the present fully wrapped. As you can see, I've got it's pretty clean. <laughs> and then you can see that it, the pattern matches up at the front. Honestly, if you don't like the line and the tape showing in the front, you can always use the, bo always use the bottom as the front that you're going to write on. Um, but I always use the side with the line to be the top. Now, I'm going to get... If I can find it... This has um, some tinsel has my ribbon, but I cannot find my ribbon. Where is my ribbon? Oh, you guys didn't tell me it was right behind me. Come on. So, what I do for my ribbon, I just take white ribbon, you can get gold, anything. Some people use like actual like thicker ribbon. Um, I just use these like strings. Um, and then you're gonna cut a long enough piece that'll go around the box twice. So you're gonna put, even it out, put it over the top part, flip it over, and then I do like a crisscross so that it doesn't move around too much. And then you're securing the tie as much as possible. And then over, and then back to the front side. Oh, and then you're gonna wanna just kind of place it through so it's stuck. Oopsies. And you just kind of readjust to however you'd like to tie the bow. Ah! No, I ripped it! Oh, okay. <laughs> There's trial and error in every in every present, guys. so that you can curl the ribbon. Oh, this one kind of broke a little, but I just take my little Sharpie and write to and from whoever your gift may be. So this is going to be the final product of my present. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you got some tips. Maybe next time I'll do something other than a box. Maybe I'll do something round, how to wrap something round. Um, this, I know this is not a vlog, but this is kind of like a walkthrough and just kind of talk with me. And I'm really glad to share it with you guys. So yeah, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye guys.